I'm Howard Penny. I am now resident faculty at the Australian National Academy of Music in Melbourne, having been based in Europe for 30 years prior to that. Um, I um, play all, anywhere where a cello is involved, I play. So I've uh, done solo work, chamber music, um, symphony orchestra, chamber orchestra, um, baroque cello, you name it, I, I do it and love it. Well, my earliest uh, musical education was with the Canberra Children's Choir. Um, it was a, a, an amazing organisation run by a real enthusiast, Judy Klingen. That, that was um, a, a real formative experience, just um, you know, making a sound yourself and then uh, and also with others. In terms of instrument, it um, started with recorder, of course, as uh, most people do, and a bit of piano. Um, and then the, the question was, well, what instrument I would like to play, stringed or, or, or um, winds? And I sort of ummed and for a while, I was seven. Um, and I thought, oh, string probably. And it just happened to be that the um, uh, local cello teacher, Canberra was a very small place in those days, uh, was the wife of the local choir master. And it, it, was, it was pure accident. I ended up with cello actually, but very quickly, um, about two or three years in, I realised that this is amazing, and it was it was just one of those uh, fortuitous uh, events. I started my studies in Canberra with uh, Nelson Cook, who has um, uh, just put his stamp on the face of cello playing in this country. Um, myself, Julian Smiles, Lee Wei Chin. Uh, all, all pupils of his and many, 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 many others. For me, and I think in general, competitions are, play an incredibly important role. My first major competition was the um, the Young Performers, uh, it's now called YPA. In my days, it was the ABC Vocal Instrumental and Vocal Competition. Um, and uh, I, it, the, it was the fourth time I entered, actually, that I won it. Then I, I continued my studies in Vienna. Um, with uh, Tobias Kuhner, who was Heinrich Schiff's teacher at the uh, Hochschule in Vienna. Well, I was incredibly lucky. The, um, literally the day after I had uh, done my graduate recital um, in Vienna, I became uh, principal of the Vienna Chamber Orchestra and uh, was there for seven years. So also playing solo and uh, chamber music with, uh, with my colleagues as well. But uh, touring the world, my very first tour was to Japan there. And uh, yes, uh, just a, a wonderful passport to a new life. I've been incredibly fortunate um, with the uh, breadth and quality of concerts that I've been um, able to be part of, especially as a member of the Chamber Orchestra of Europe. I'd say that that orchestra has been to a large extent, my musical education. Um, first of all, the colleagues on stage, it's just an unbelievable collection of extraordinary musicians. But then we've been lucky enough to work with uh, the world's best conductors and best soloists constantly. So we've we built relations with Claudio Abado at the beginning with, with Hanan Core. That's been, um, I would say, the core of my understanding of how music is put together. Getting inside a composer's head, getting inside his language, how is he communicating? How how does the music work? Um, that process uh, has more or less defines what I'm about as a musician. Well, I can honestly say that uh, I've always been passionate about teaching. I've always loved it. Um, you know, to use the old phrase, uh, giving is receiving, uh, teaching is learning. I, I taught privately. I've um, cut my teeth, so to speak, with uh, teaching amateurs, which has been a fabulous experience. I used to run a um, course for amateur chamber musicians in a beautiful castle just south of Vienna. Uh, then um, in more formal settings, I've uh, taught performance practice uh, at the Salzburg Mozarteum. And uh, now, for the first time at ANAM, uh, I have my own class, and that's something I've always, always wanted to have. So, encouraging young people to discover what they can do and the and the incredible musicians they can be, helping as part of that process, has always been, um, yeah, uh, uh, something that's very important to me. 